my channel. Today I'm sharing with you what I have left of my August 2018 wild hair kit. So if you don't know what a wild hair kit is, I'll just briefly explain it. Uh, basically on the website you fill out a style profile and they will create um, a hand curated kit just for you, for your style and what you are crafting. So um, I will link down below the unboxing video so you can see exactly what I started with. and. Um, I'm going to show you what I have left and then I'll show you everything that I created with this kit. So let's get started. I think I did pretty good with this kit. Um, I do have some stuff left that I'll just put back into my stash and use the rest up but otherwise like I don't think you can really make much with what's left. So as far as papers go. Um, I have a little bit of this left. I would have used more, but I was like kind of hoarding it and then I was like, okay, Rachel, let's just use it up. And so I did. Um, I did use some parts, but not all of it. So I still have lots. It'll go in my stash and I'll be able to use the rest of it. And then I have these two chunks left from crepe paper and I'll probably just put it into my stash to be honest. I will use those. And then, um, here, let me just show you this. I have this paper pad by uh, Pink Fresh Studio. It's the Simple and Sweet Paper Pad. So it's hard to tell, but I did use a lot of it. This is what I have left. I probably used about half of it. It's really hard to tell, like I said, but uh, yeah. So I think I used a really good amount of that. And then these are my little baby scraps that I have left. So I kept every little bit. Sorry if you can hear my husband in the background, um, but yeah, so there's that. And then I got an ephemera pack from Crate Paper and I do have some pieces left, but some of them are pretty specific. So I um, wasn't necessarily able to use them. So I will put them in my stash because I'm sure I'll be going to some of these places. Um, like this one says Paris. This one's obviously New York. Um, so yeah, some very specific places, Mexico and stuff like that. But I will definitely just put it into my stash because I plan on going everywhere, you know? So <laughs> those will get used up. I have this beautiful tag. Um, I used up half of this. Here's a really nice frame. I'm surprised I didn't use that actually. And that one says beach. There's an arrow, an envelope, which will be great for happy mail. This is really cute. I really love this too. And then that's just a cut off from uh, from something. So I did pretty good with that, I think. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, this I didn't use very much of, but that's okay. It can just go into my stash. Uh, this I did really well with. Um, as you can see, I basically used everything. I um, used a ton of the letter stickers, which is great. Uh, for vowels, I have one A left and a U. So I'd say I did pretty good. I even used a three for an E once and a one for an I and a zero for an O. So I think that's pretty much done. I don't think I can do much more with that. Um, and then otherwise I just have one, two, three stickers here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. So just these here. So I'll probably just um, cut them out and then um, and then put them in my stash so that I don't have this like giant sheet that it's just a little cut out. So that's pretty good, I would say. And then this, I used up basically everything. This had no Y with it, so I wasn't able to use that, but I can use this and this. So I'll just put that into my stash. I'll just cut it to be smaller. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little acetate sheet here that I used for, or that had um, little badges on it or um, flares and I use the entire thing. The enamel dots, I did pretty well tearing through that. I love enamel dots, so that did pretty well. And I'm looking around and I think that's it. So I'm gonna show you all the layouts and Project Life stuff that I made and uh, then you'll be able to see how many projects I was able to make with my kit. Okay, so here's the first layout I made and I wanted to say that most of these or all of them should have process videos from this month. So if you want to, you can just go to my YouTube channel and you'll find the list of all the videos that are probably the most recent ones. You can find them there. 
So this Leia was my first one. It's really simple. It's really soft and airy and I, I'm really happy with it. I was thinking about doing a border. I mentioned this in the video, I think, um, like with like a doodly border, but then I didn't want to add black. I just love the simplicity of it. I think it's really cute. Um, I love layers and yeah, so that's that. Here's my next one. I really love this one too. One of my favorites. I just used up a bunch of embellishments that I love. That's what I love to do when I first get a kit or a collection is to make like a grid layout like this and use all the things I love. So like I said, there is a process video, but here's a little bit of a close up and I think it's really cute. This is the next one I made. It's a Project Life spread. I think it's really cute. I'll give you some close ups here. And it's just some adventures out in the backyard in the summer with my garden and I really like it. This is another one I really like. It's when I still had like an abundance of things. I still had the flares. I had lots of these sparkly guys. I had lots of ephemera so I had lots of fun with that. And I used, I started using the um, vellum as well, so that's fun. Next one is this one. It, um, again, from our trip in Arizona. And um, I got to use up a lot of the embellishments and everything, really. So this is a lot of fun. Here's another layout I made. It's a 12 by 12 layout and I was inspired by these two giant cards. I thought it'd be cool to layer it with pictures and I don't always love 12 by 12 layouts. I did a little bit of watercolor in the background that I don't love but otherwise I think it turned out cute. I ha still had lots of layering pieces at this point and stickers or stickers and stuff like that so I think that's good. I also made this layout. This is using the cut file that was provided in the kit and I backed it with some of the papers as you can see in the background. The title is Favorite Paradise and I had lots of embellishments and stickers and layers and I actually really liked it. At first I thought I just wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out and I'm really happy with how it looks. Here is another one, and this is when I was starting to get down low on product. Um, just kind of like, you know, the past halfway point, you've used a lot of your favorite items, but I was still working through it, and I used a lot of the Pink Fresh Studio papers for my Project Life cards. I used some of the stickers to make a little banner here, because I didn't have any cards for here, but I could really make, um, make it work with what I had. And just decorate it with stickers and flair, and I think it looks cute. Lastly, I have this one, and sorry, I forgot to show you close-ups of the last one, but I'll do that for this one. And this is one I was really lo running low. This is my last one, and I was using up the last of my favorite items, and uh, yeah, so you can see I ended up with not too much stuff left over. They all are. This is everything I made. Some are uh, double-sided here, but I made one, two, three four, five, yeah, five Project Life layouts and four um, scrapbooking pages. So that's pretty good, I would say. That got a lot done and I like to embellish. As you can see, there's a lot of embellishments here and I use lots of paper for for Project Life cards. So I think I did pretty good with this kit. I still have lots of product left that I can put into my stash, but I'm gonna call it quits for this kit for this month. And I'm really excited for what I have to show you in my September kit. I can't wait to uh, to see what I get and to show you guys and to make product projects. So let me know what kind of projects you want to see me do. And I will be sure to take note of that and try and do that for the next kit. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.